Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And today what I'm going to do is share with you how to create a bullish iron condor. Can you create an iron condor that's actually bullish and not non-directional? So yes, you can. And I'm going to share with you how to do that in this episode. All right, so before we get started on doing this bullish iron condor, I do want to let you know there's a lot of great freebies on our website at tradersfly.com. Check out the free option trading mini course if you're brand new to trading options. And there's a great start here, uh, Option Trading Guide 101 as well. There's a plenty of other freebies that you can get and download. So anyways, with that being said, let's see how we can create and construct a bullish iron condor. So first I'm going to show you on paper and then we're going to go to the screen. All right, so how do I make a bullish iron condor? Well, an iron condor, uh, the typical way is non-directional. So what you do is you sell the put side and then you sell the vertical, okay? And then you sell the call side, okay? And now I sell the vertical there and now I've got an iron condor and my price is in the middle. Now, how do I do one that's bullish? Because if the market's constantly going up, how do I do a bullish one? So here's a, a bullish example. So what do I need to do? Well, I'll still sell the call side because obviously price is going there. So there's my call side. So I'll sell here. Um, but then what can I do? Well, if I make it bullish, I could do a couple of things. One thing is move this in, but I can keep moving it to the point where I'm at this price point, okay, or very tight, or I can then flip it to be even outside of the range. So now what I can do is actually buy the call side. And now my price will be out here. And now I've got kind of a bullish iron condor. Okay, so let's look on the panel how this uh, works and functions. Okay, so looking at it from the thinkorswim platform, let's do this one on um, Alibaba. So if I go to Baba right here, and let's say current price just for context sake is around 214 there's a chart and if we go in and let's say we're doing a 50 day okay what i can do is sell this is the basic iron condor a vertical here but i'm doing it a little tighter okay and we'll do 20 contracts here and there we go and then the other side i normally would kind of sell over here right so what I would do is sell the vertical and this gets me that iron condor construction. Okay, so there we go. That's somewhat non-directional. So how do I make it more and more uh, bullish? Well, what I can do is now go in and bring in that left side right here, this put side even further. So I could go to about a 210. So here is about a 210 and then go to a 205. And now we're much more bullish. How do I make it even more bullish? Well, now I'll have to flip to about a 220. I'll keep going and maybe a 215. So now I'm over here. Now, if I'm on this side, could I do the put side? Sure, you could, uh, but you might want to do the call side because then you're out of the money. So I don't know. It's up to you. It's just probably easier to get filled. So now I've got one uh, out of the money and one kind of um, uh, both out of the money rather than one in the money and one out of the money. So now I've got something like this. And I could continue going to 220, and this is 225, and now I've got an even more bullish iron condor. Now, how do I make it even more bullish? Let's say I go, instead of a balanced 20 and 20 contracts, what I could do is start um, increasing my uh, contract amount on that call side, okay, uh, that I'm buying. And because I'm buying more of these verticals, right, these are bullish verticals, um, it increases the delta. Or the other way is to reduce the ones I'm selling and that can make it even more bullish. And now I've got kind of an, a bullish, unbalanced, directional iron condor. So this one's kind of nice because you use a little less capital um, than you might, let's say, without that extra vertical. So uh, it's not a ton, but it does help a little bit. So if you wanna reduce your capital, um, you could do some of these kinds of bullish iron condors. So that way, as it comes there and crosses that uh, line, it, it's very nice. It's uh, the theta is is also kind of rather than doing a single call, um, you don't have as much uh, theta risk or problem. It's almost near zero. 
Uh, the downside is, is if it does explode, typically on an index it wouldn't, but on something like Alibaba, if it does explode, well, you're not profiting as much. But you do and you will get some of that theta once it runs into here, you'll continue to receive some of that theta and so forth. So anyways, there's a few different advantages, like if it just moves up a bit and slows down, which is probably most of the stocks, um, then you'll be fine. If it does explode quite heavily, um, then you won't profit as much, and especially if it does it kind of right away. So anyway, that's kind of just my take on it overall. I hope you find that helpful. Uh, definitely check out um, our freebies on the Traders Fly website. There's some other great courses as, as well that you could look at, and one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching if you're interested in that as well. Anyways, with that being said, thanks for joining me. Feel free to grab those freebies, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or see more great videos. Thanks again, and I will see you on the next episode.